Welcome to our studio in Ghent, Belgium, where we are making the fantastic Quentin Blake's Box of Treasures, which you can watch on BBC iPlayer right now. It's an animation series of really exciting stories that feature all sorts of things, from dragons to monkeys, from an umbrella that can make children fly over the ocean, to a magic pencil that can draw in the sky. Hi everybody, my name is Massimo and I'm the creative director and co-writer of the show. We are making six episodes in this series. Each is based on one of these books and they've all been written and illustrated by the wonderful Wentin Blake. My name's Quentin Blake. I've been illustrating books all my life which is quite a long time, and there are quite a lot of books, probably about 300. You may even have seen some of them. I've done books by Roald Dahl, like Matilda and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I've done books by a lot of other authors, and I've done books which I've written myself. This is amazing. Amazing indeed. I mean, 300 books, can you imagine? Turning his books into animation is also quite a tricky job. It involves dozens of people and months of work. So, let me tell you how it all happens. First of all, you need a script, which is like a mini book that tells you the story, describes what should happen on screen, and gives the words that all the characters will speak. Once the script is done, we start doing lots of drawings, at last. So, this is Gerrit, he is the director of the show and he will tell you everything about the storyboard and the animatic. <coughs> Sorry, I was just uh, miles away. So, what's a storyboard then? You can consider this like a series of drawings that will show you how each scene works, but in a very, very rough way. Um, later on, these drawings are put on a timeline, one after each other, like a flipbook. Um, then there's some music added on top of that, um, and also the recorded dialogues from the actors. For example, we had Simon Peck, who played uh, the role of George. And as well as character actors like Simon, in this show we also need a narrator to help us tell the story. I'm going to tell you a story. Yes, Adrian, that's exactly what I said. So, this is our narrator, Adrian Lester. And, by the way, all the dialogue has to be pre-recorded by the actors before a single frame of the animation can even be made. And voila, there we have the animatic. Hmm, I wonder what it does. What it does? Oh, let me tell you, an animatic is very important. It's like a template that tells the whole team what the story will be like, scene by scene. It means you need a lot of drawings, and by a lot of drawings we really mean a lot of drawings. Thanks. Oh yes, indeed. If you think that for every second of animation on screen you need 25 drawings, that means in a minute you will have 1,500 drawings. And these movies that we're making, each episode is 26 minutes, which means 39,000 drawings. I mean, wow! Wow! So this is Joris, and his job is to do illustrations just like the ones that Quentin Blake does. And this is because we want to make sure that our animation will look as close to Quentin's style as possible. That's right. When the animatic is done, we need to draw everything that's being used in the animation. And I mean everything. The characters, the backgrounds, props, which are things like chairs, umbrellas, and even babies' nappies. I'll show you how to draw the character of Nancy from Jack and Nancy. Now, Quentin Blake has a very loose and spontaneous style, but like every illustrator, he always starts with a simple sketch, which is actually quite adventurous. I want to reflect this in the pose I'm giving her. We do the whole animation like a sketch first, so we get the movement right. And then, when we're happy, we refine it and give it extra details. Once that is done, we start inking. This is where it starts to look like a Quinton Blake drawing. Animators are trained to draw very precisely, but for this project we had to unlearn all of that to draw as freewheeling as Quinton Blake. Even our most experienced artists had a hard time getting that right. And then the final touch is adding the color, which brings everything to life. <laughs> 
Well done, Yoris. One drawing done. 38,999 to go. But fortunately for Yoris, we have a big team of very talented animators to help him out. So things can progress very quickly and in a few months the rough animation is completed, then colored and composited. And compositing means putting all the animation together with the backgrounds and fixing things like the lighting and the special effects. Oh, you're perfect. Oh, you're perfect. Well, yeah, it sounds very easy, as well, the way you put it this way, but of course it's a lot of hard work to do. It is a lot of hard work, but it's also great fun if you like this type of work. And if you're able to work with a team of very talented people, of course. So, now that you know how things are made, you will be able to enjoy our shows even better when you see them on BBC iPlayer. We can't wait for you to watch them!